don't know how to label this uh, video. I guess the law, the laws of physics or gravity or muscle tension, but they're all associated. I've been seeing a lot of, and I just don't know why this is happening uh, for instructors to do this. It does, if, if it works for them, I, I could understand, that is fine. But it, def it defies the laws of gravity and relaxation. <coughs> I recently viewed a video uh, about the full stroke, what occurs to the stick. And uh, if I'm up in this position and I throw the stick down, the stick's going to come all the way back like so. Okay. I'm not going to stop the stick. If I don't, it's going to go flying way over to the other side of the room. So what I was taught, when I'm, I'm stroking like that, my hand has to be faster than the stick to receive the stick to stop it. Because I don't want to go any higher than this unless you want to play from back here. And to me, that is, uh, you know, kind of strange. But if you play like that, get ahead. My hand, I throw the stick down. I'm going to do it in slow motion. I hit the pad or the drum. The stick comes back, and I stop it in, to that position. So my point of attack is the same. The laws of physics, for every act, action, there's an opposite reaction. What I did is I threw the stick down, and I went, came back, and I received it. Yes, if I did not stop the stick, it would be like this. Not a problem. That's kind of way out there, man. You don't want to deal with that. Now, another thing I need to understand and perhaps whoever views this video can put in the comment section why people do this. The object of playing on, on, on your drum set when you're performing or when you're executing is to be totally relaxed. So if I go like this, I'm just throwing the stick down, I, I just very relaxed and I come back to receive the stick. Not a problem. Okay, what, and there's no additional muscles that I'm using, it's just the flow comes back. Like so. I don't, I've seen this recently, and it kind of like annoys me, and I don't know why. And like I said, if you understand why that, that, that should be, uh, please put it in the comment section. I've noticed guys coming like this with their finger out like, this, like so and bringing it in. Like this. That makes no sense to me. I'm trying to figure it out, figure it out. I'm not saying it's wrong or it's right. I mean, if it works for you, fine. But my, my point is if you're going to be relaxed, you just throw the stick down and it comes back. If I bring the, my fingers out and bring them back in, there's a muscle that's working here which is going to create tension. Like so. I don't understand that. And perhaps I'm. Um, here I'm giving an instructional video asking for instructions or information. And I would appreciate that. But I throw a stick down and then throw it out like this and bring it in. When I do that, it creates underneath a muscle that's working to, to bring it closed. It's an additional movement, which in my opinion is totally unnecessary. It defeats being relaxed because I'm using that additional uh, muscle and that's going to create some tension. I don't need to work that muscle. I'm just going to work it like so. I'm going to go. I'm not playing. That's ridiculous. When I'm not playing this. You don't see me going in and out like that. I'm not even playing fingers. Anyway, I just wanted to put this, this out there and hopefully I get some input. Uh, I'm not criticizing what I'm trying to do as an instructor or an educator, I'd like to get all this information that I can so I can put it out there correctly. I, you know, th there's guys demonstrating things that, you know, I, I'm not going to argue with them and I, I just really can't um, uh, agree with. But then that's me. Okay, gentlemen, have a good day.